Hi. In this quick tip, we're going to cover some ways to secure your WordPress site. The first steps start with the initial installation process. Our first level of ensuring security when we set up our WordPress site is going to come when we're filling out our WP config file, which comes originally saved as wpconfig-sample.php when we download WordPress. We'll go ahead, rename this file, removing the dash sample, and then open it with our text editor, coming down to the section that asks us to define the database name, the user, the password, and then the host is where we're going to begin entering in our secure information. Now it's essential that the information we use here, like the name and the user and the password, are ones that are secure and are not easily going to be guessed by hackers. In our case, our database name is WP Demo. Our user is WP User 01 and our password is a strong password that we've created. We'll leave WP host the same, but there is one more field that we want to add in and edit here for extra security. That field is called the WP table prefix, and we could find it down below by the value table underscore prefix. What this does is adds WP underscore to the beginning of each table name in our database, changing this to something like WP Demo 01 will make it more difficult for hackers to know the names of our tables. The next step that we'll make sure we take is making sure that we use the authentication unique keys and salts. This again adds an extra layer of security to using WordPress. To do this, we'll find the URL next to the link around line 40, copy that, come over and paste it into our browser, copy all of the text on that page, close it, come back and then replace the placeholder text here with the text from the browser. Now that we've taken these few steps, we can ensure that our WordPress site will be a little bit safer hosted online. Once you've taken the security measures during the installation process, you'll want to make sure that you keep WordPress up to date. WordPress releases new versions a couple times a year that often include security updates. While in general you always want to keep your WordPress version up to date, you also want to make sure that your theme and plugins will continue to function properly when you upgrade. WordPress automatically outputs what version of WordPress your site is using in the header HTML code. Removing this is a good idea since hacking scripts will often search for sites that show in their code that they're using an outdated version of WordPress. A plugin like Secure WordPress can help you do that. It also takes some other similar steps to close up security holes that could exist on your site. Moving on to the actual WordPress files, you'll want to make sure that the folder and file permissions are not set to 777, but rather something like 744. Often tutorials will have you set folders like WP Content or the Uploads folder to 777, but this opens up a large risk to a hacker gaining access to those files. You could set these file permissions using FTP software. While all of these are great first steps, you could read about more advanced ways to secure WordPress on the WordPress Codex article, Hardening WordPress. However, you also might want to look into a plugin like Better WP Security which scans your site and notifies you of areas where you can improve the security of your WordPress site. As a final note, I'd encourage you to keep an eye on your server to detect multiple failed login attempts to your site and the server. Thanks for watching and remember to keep your WordPress site secure.